Hello everyone, how are you guys? Uh, this is Statistic for All series, lecture number eight, and we were discussing measure of center tendency. In the last lecture, we discussed arithmetic mean, and today we are going to discuss median, the second measure of uh, central tendency. Kaukab Manzoor is here, teacher, trainer, and life coach, your friend, your colleague, your teacher, and even your students, because I also learned from you guys as well, right? Okay, so I hope you are ready. So let's begin. Uh, what is median? As the name clarifies, it's very simple and easy concept that median means simply middle value. Now, how to calculate the middle value? So first step is that whenever we have the data, we arranged it in array. Array means in ascending order, right? So whatever we normally we when we have the data that is in jumbled form that is mixed some values are high some are low that that, that is in that is mixed right so what we do first step is they make or arrange the data in array means in ascending order right or descending order but mostly we do it in ascending because it's easy to understand right so once we arrange the data so we simply find out the midpoint of that data that is called as median and we usually denote it with m d right so let's do a numerical example on it so that we can easily understand we have a uh, weight of seven army recruits that is their weight is uh, 180 pound 201 220 191 219 209 and 186 now how to calculate the median of this data so remember what is what is the first step arrange the data in order mean in ascending order so how to arrange it? The minimum value is 180 that we give uh, right in the first place. Then we have 186. Okay. Then we have uh, 191. Clear. After that, we can have 201 and then 209, 219, and 220. You see, it's all in ascending order. So just, just by looking at this data, you can simply calculate the mean. So what is the middle value? So three values here, three values here. Here you have the middle value. So if you have the numbers in odd, like here we have how many uh, observations? One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. So when we have in odd numbers, so it's very easy to pick the middle value. When we have the even numbers, so we take the sum of the two and then divide it by two, right? So means we take the average of the two middle values, right? So this is how you can calculate the median of a simple data. So here our median is 201. Okay, what if we have a group or other data? So, okay, first take the uh, even numbers, right? As I told you, so what we do, we take the average of two middle values, right? For example, we have the data, uh, customer purchase the following number of magazine, one, seven, two, three, four. Uh, so here you see we how many values do we have one two three four five six so this is the now, now we have the uh, numbers in our uh, observation in even number right so we first arrange the data and then we see here we have two middle values these two three plus three divided by two so that we'll get three right three plus three six six divided by two three so when we have even number so we take two middle values and we take their average. So I hope you got the concept. For odd, it's very easy to pick the middle. And for even, we pick the two values and then get the average of it. That is how we calculate the median. Now, how to calculate the median for earned group frequency distribution? So first of all, we need to get the cumulative frequencies. Remember, we discussed, I think, in, in lecture number three or four, what is cumulative frequency. So you better watch that lecture if you don't know what is cumulative frequency, right? Then what we do, we compute n by two and locate the middle point. n by two, n is the total number of samples uh, or observations, and we divide it by two and see where the value falls. Now, how is this done? Very simple. For example, uh, any appliances company, ABC, they sold the TV uh, per week. So first they sold uh, one TV four times, two TVs per week, nine times, uh, 
three TV per week, they have done it for six times and four TV, they have done it for uh, like two times, I mean for two weeks, they have done this and for three weeks, they have sold five TVs, right? So what is the median? <clears throat> How to calculate it? This is the data you have now. What is the formula for it? You see, it's very simple. To locate the middle point, divide n by two. So what is n here? n is 24. From where did we get this 24 figure? Look at here, you see. Now we have four plus nine, 13. 13 plus six, 19 plus two, 21 plus three, 24. So 24. So n, I told you in the previous video as well, n is equal means summation f or sum of the f, sum of the frequency. So 24 divided by two, that gives us 12. Now locate where 12 value would fall and 12 value will fall above, right? So we calculate first cumulative frequency. What is cumulative frequency? Cumulative frequency is addi additive frequency, right? So first is four, then four plus nine, 13, 13 plus six, 19, 19 plus two, 21, 21 plus three, 24, right? So what was the middle value? We had <coughs> here 12. So where does the 12 fall? 12 fall at this category, right? Before here, it is less than 12. And here we have 13, so mean 12 will fall in this category. So what we say, what is the middle median? Just against this corresponding x value is two. So you see the 12th value fall in class two, so hence the middle value is, or the median is two. So this will be our median. Means the, the home appliances company uh, sold uh, the TV sets uh, per weeks, that is two is the average in this case, I mean the median value or the median value is two, right? So this is how you can calculate it. Now, what if you have a grouped data that was ungrouped data? So for group data, we have this formula. Uh, don't get confused. It's little, it apparently seems a little confusing, but I'll explain each and every point one by one and hope uh, you won't find any trouble in it. So first point is the same as n by two. We have done it a little earlier. Then minus CF. CF means cumulative frequency, the preceding cumulative frequency. F means the corresponding frequency of that data, the mid middle uh, median class data. <clears throat> w is the width of class interval. Uh, what is the difference between the class? And then lower limit of the that class, what um, that median class. <clears throat> A lower class boundary of the median class. Now, how we can do it? Okay, this is the data we have, 15.5 uh, to 20.5. This is class one, this is class two, class three. And here are the frequencies that we have, right? Now, how to locate the median? So first is what we do, divide n by two. So what is the n? n is the summation of all these. So three plus five, eight, eight plus four, 12, 12 plus three, 15, 15 plus two, 17. So 17 divided by two, we get 8.5. This is up approximately that is equal to nine. Now, the next step is what? We need cumulative frequency, right? Now, what is uh, first, uh, what, how we'll calculate the cumulative frequency? Here you can see, this is uh, cumulative frequency. First one is the same three, then three plus five, Eight, eight plus four, 12, 12 plus three, 15, 15 plus two, 17. So what was our uh, median? Here you can see median value was, uh, mm, mm, that is that is nine, right? So we'll see now where does this nine lies in cumulative frequency. So nine lies here, you see, at this value. Because before this class, eight is less than nine. So nine will be accommodated here. So this corresponding to this cumulative frequency, we have this class 25.5 to 30.5. So this will be our median class. Now, up till here, if it's clear, so now, now we'll put the values into the formula, right? Now, how we do it? We have N 17, as we know, preceding class frequency eight, from where did we get this eight? This one, see this one, the median value, 
cumulative frequency and the preceding is 8. Okay. Now next F is 4. Which one? From where we get this 4? Sorry. Sorry. 4. So this is the frequency 4. We got this value. Right. Now 25 to 20.5 to 20.5. This was the difference between the class width. And what is the lower limit? This is the lower limit, 25.5. Now put all these values into the formula, right? N by two means 17 by two minus eight CF divided by a frequency four, right? The class width is five W. This is we calculated here and lower limit 25.5. So when we solve all this, we'll get this figure that is 26.125. So this is how we calculate median of group frequency system. So if uh, you can watch it again, so hopefully uh, you will get all the concepts clear. So try to write down the notes with yourself uh, so that you can remember. So I always prefer uh, you can write down the uh, your explanation or short notes in your local language uh, so that later on when you get uh, to these notes, so you will easily grab the concept. If still you have any confusion, so you can ask, you can see my email address. Uh, Facebook page, YouTube contact number, all the things are just here. So you can contact me. Thank you very much. Take care.